Hey everybody, Bungzi here with another ultralight review on ultralight backpacking. Seanock, the maker of those super popular water bladders, you know the ones that open at the bottom for easy water collection. There's a review coming by the way. Anyways, Seanock just came out with a new product, um, a one liter soft-sided bottle uh, with similar dimensions to the ever popular smart water bottle. I'll walk you through all the details, but be sure to stick around until the end where I'll share a use case I'm really excited about. And then there's its other intended use case I personally wouldn't use this bottle for. Let's start with the basics first. It's a collapsible one liter bottle that's unlike your typical pouch like soft sided bladder. Um, this is actually bottle shaped and kind of stands up straight as a bottle. Is it as sturdy and easy to handle, easy to replace back in your pack side pocket as a hard sided bottle like a smart water bottle? Obviously no, but it's much easier to handle than the more traditional pouch like bladders that few other vendors make. Why? Well, because it's pretty much the same shape as a smart water bottle, which makes it easier to grab and handle. Um, than a bag of water, which is pretty much what the other options are. Plus, its base and top are a little firmer, uh, a more rigid plastic, which allows it to keep its shape and makes it easier to handle. You can more easily grab the, the top when removing it blindly from your pack side pockets with your uh, mini T-Rex arms. You know how that goes. And uh, the firm bo um, bottom makes it easier to put back because it keeps its shape as you try and stuff it back into your side pocket. The pouches that others make don't have these differentiated firm ends on the top and bottom. So they're more like trying to stuff an unruly water balloon into a pocket blindly behind your back. A couple other features worth pointing out. It has a screw top lid that has a tether, which is nice so you don't lose the top. It also has a universally sized thread so it can be replaced in a pinch with your typical water bottle screw tops. It also has a little lanyard. I'm not sure it's a great idea to use this lanyard regularly when the bottle is full, but I guess it helps you grab the bottle from a pocket or hang it securely when you're and it's empty and not in use. As for the weight, it's advertised at 2.1 ounces, which is pretty much what mine weighed on my scale. Now as a point of comparison, a one liter smart water bottle weighs 1.44 ounces. Now this is where it gets interesting. Why would one spend 10.99 on this bottle when you could pick up a smart water bottle for a couple bucks or arguably even free if you keep on, uh, keep on the lookout for one. Here's my insight into this. If all you're doing is filling this bottle with clean filtered water, then don't buy this. You don't need it. In fact, it's kind of a pain in the arse. I'm gonna show you some videos as to why I say this. But before I hit play, let me acknowledge that there are all kinds of childish jokes hiding in this video. I just want you to know that I already know this, so you're not as clever as you think and I'm just as immature as you are. As you can see in this video, um, if you apply just the tiniest amount of pressure to the bottle, water comes flying out, and not just a little, and that's standing still. If you don't want to waste your water, you have to hold it very carefully, and nobody wants to be worrying about this when hot and thirsty and tired and walking, nobody. And I promise I'm not applying much pressure at all in these videos. I thought I had a solution to this. I placed one of the smart water bottle sports caps onto it instead, thinking this might alleviate the problem. Nope, it got worse. You could take out an eye with this. Again, I know I'm as childish as you are. You don't need to say it. So why would anyone ever want such a bottle? Here's the answer. If you are filtering, where did it go? and using a filter like the Sawyer filter or something comparable, then this bottle is a game changer. Collect your dirty water bottle into this bottle and leave the Sawyer squeeze on it all the time. And just drink directly from the filter when you're thirsty. It is so, so, so much easier than doing the same thing with a smart water bottle, which is what I've been doing and what many others do as well. Uh, if you've been there, you already know what I'm gonna say. The rigid plastic of a smart water bottle uh, can't keep up with your squeezing. You have to take a break 
and unscrew it a little bit so that the air can enter, allowing it to go back to its original shape. Then you can start squeezing again. You have to repeat this exercise several times in the course of draining a one liter bottle. The Sinoc Vesica, I hope I'm saying that correctly, bottle solves this. You can straight up squeeze out an entire one liter of water without any mid-process resets. Just keep squeezing. And obviously, it's much easier to squeeze this bottle than a smart water bottle. Or for that matter, other bottles or bladders on the market. Not only is this bottle made to be squeezed, um, but given its dimensions, as I mentioned, it's easier to handle as you remove it and place it in your pocket side pockets. It's so much easier to filter and drink out of this setup than any other setup. And that, my friends, is a game changer in my books. No more filtering from a smart water bottle and no more trying to handle a floppy bladder. The Vesica walks that line right between the two options. It is so much easier to drink from when combined with a Sawyer filter than with a smart water bottle. Can't stress that enough. You also get to skip all that extra work of downtime or of having to filter your water. Just collect water and keep walking. Filter as you go. It's a huge time saver. For those who haven't seen it, I have a video on my recommended water filtering strategy from back in the day. While the filter and now the bottle have changed, the logic and strategy still apply. So check it out, link up above. The only thing I can't speak to at the moment is durability, as this just came out. On one hand, I would say that CNOC has excellent experience making products like this, so I expect this to hold up. On the other hand, I did try soft-sided water bladders for a time and did have one uh, start leaking on me. So again, jury is still out on long-term durability. Um, the beauty though of using a Sawyer filter is that you can attach it to all other water vessels in case this fails. I'm still going to bring one of these with me for extra water. Um, well, that's all the time I need and I hope I gave you something to think about. As always, please help me grow the show by hitting the like button and clicking on the Bungsy logo floating on the screen to subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me a ton. Thanks, and I'll catch you on my next ultralight review on ultralight backpacking.